हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ दीपक डेरले कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट एट एजम कॉलेज नासिक इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड साइबर सिक्योरिटी मॉड्यूल वन द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज लेक्चर इज इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी ओवरव्यू एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ अटैक्स ऑन सिक्योरिटी बिफोर दैट इन प्रीवियस सेशन ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द टर्म्स एज टीसीपी प्रोटोकॉल स्टैक various layers and its applications as well as protocols of tcp ip protocol stack such as physical data link network transport and application layer after that in last session we discuss wireless network in which we briefly de uh, de describe access point mechanism and the last topic of last session was internet for today's session i will cover information security overview background as well as current scenario and the most important part of today's lecture is types of attacks okay now day to day life we are using internet but at the same time we have to think about attacks on our data means while browsing with websites while using various applications we just have to remember that how we can protect our data from attackers from hackers or in other words we can say that intruders the learning objective of today's session various types of attacks as phishing then spoofing impersonation then dumpster diving now let's start with phishing first now here in this figure you can see that there are two person sitting with their systems maybe either laptop or computer system and one person is trying to access his uh, some website by using his credentials like either id password or some credit card details debit card details or actual money also but whenever that person is trying to access some data at the same time some Uh, from another network other person is trying to capture those details in short in simple words we can say that that another person is trying to access sensitive information of the first person means we know that first person will access the website access some profiles at the same moment that second person may be either part of same network or different network trying to access his credentials so we have to prevent that access from the hacker that second person can be referred as hacker or attacker who is trying to access that confidential information so what we have to do we have to prevent that access of second person from the credential data or from the credentials and if that attack happens then it is nothing but phishing but this phishing is categorized into various parts now here you can see that credentials may contain usernames passwords credit card details or sometimes money also okay after that phishing takes advantage of the trust means suppose uh, by trust i will share my credentials with my friends and that my friend will use those details like my id my password or maybe my credit card for some Misuse, uh, misuse at that time it is also under the category of phishing now it is also a part of cyber crime in which targets or target target documents target emails can be collected and the data also uh, get retrieved from those details and which may uh, a, which may enter into the loss of data now first part of phishing and that is email phishing now in case of email phishing what happens some fake domains will be created by the attacker means that attacker will create the fake domains and after creating fake domains contact will be made with thousands of people let's uh, we just consider thousands of people it may be uh, less than that or more than that also but approximately we just uh, consider that email phishing with near about 1000 emails so those emails will be email request will be sent to the people and if those people will get replied 
uh, for those email then again data loss occur so that is nothing but email phishing along with that some common features of email phishing in that first is too good to be true sense of urgency then hyperlinks attachments and the last is unusual sender sometimes that hacker will create duplicate website as like original one and he is uh, make contact either with help of email with the customers or users of that website and just telling that we have to switch to next web portal next portal so you can share your personal information for the purpose of login and whenever some persons will reply to that email will rep reply to that particular data either with the help of hyperlink or attachments at that time that loss occurs and security will get break the second type under phishing is spear phishing now in case of email phishing there are thousands of people will be contacted at the same time but in case of spear phishing it is not the case means that a hacker or attacker will make focus on only one person at the same time and he will capture his details like his name his company his uh, employer then his uh, job role or salary or other personal information like email id mobile number or it extra and by capturing all the details a uh, target will be get finalized and that attack can be done and that is nothing but spear phishing so what is the difference in case of email phishing that attacker will make contact with thousands of people at the same moment same time and in case of spear phishing that attacker or hacker will focus only on a single person and can capture all his details now next is smishing and wishing now if you read that word carefully smishing then that name itself says that sms phishing sms stands for short message service now we know that today in all mobiles whether that mobile can be the smartphone or simple phone then also each and every mobile having two basic features in that first feature of call and second feature of sms text sms okay so in stop email here contact will be made either with the help of sms text messages or maybe with the help of telephonic conversation so this is under smishing and wishing so smishing means uh, sms and sms or text messages and wishing means telephonic conversation so just remember the difference in email phishing we have to contact number of or thousands of people at the same time in case of spear phishing we just uh, focus on single person single user and we 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 means attacker will capture all his details in case of smishing and wishing again details will be taken from some portal from some uh, documents and then contact will be made and that contact may be with the help of either text message or telephonic conversation here uh, another approach uh, al along with smishing and wishing sometimes you will get a fraud investigator means you will get some fake call and that person is trying to say that i am calling from uh, some dash dash organization some dash dash bank and for the purpose of verification you will uh, receive some otp and please share that otp along with us and whenever that any user will trust on that attacker on or on that hacker at that time data loss may occurs so this is also under category smishing and wishing next part of uh, phishing is angular phishing now today we all are using social media sites either whatsapp facebook insta or whatever it may, it may be so we have a number of platforms available for social medias and whenever that criminal will attack on that uh, data uh, with the help of these applications maybe uh, some fake urls or clone websites means a dummy website make some tweets so that uh, user will get diverted and may maybe trust on that message what your tweet made by the hacker and if those users will follow this step then that angular phishing may may be occurred next part is spoofing 
IP spoofing. IP we already learned in last session. Internet protocol IP spoofing. Now here in case of IP spoofing, uh, we know that when uh, we have to communicate in between two systems, in between two users. So for that communication, there is one sender and other is receiver, and message will travel from sender to receiver. So we know that message will travel from sender to receiver. If that message is having a large size, in that case, that message will be break down into number of packets, number of frames. And at that time, what happens? Whenever that sender or that one system uh, message will travel from sender to receiver or one system to other system, in case of spoofing, the IP address of sender will make hidden. Means we know the destination because no doubt that message will be sent by the hacker. So what that person will do? That person will hide his own address and that message will be reached towards the receiver or towards the destination. But whenever some data loss occurs and that loss will be traced with the help of network routers. So routers is routers are unable to identify the source address because hacker will do something and make hidden that address so that's why uh, this is nothing but ip spoofing so this is one example for ip spoofing now in case of ip spoofing it may happen that sender and receiver's address are as original as uh, some user or that authorized user is using at the beginning but that actor attacker or that hacker will break that message in the middle means just imagine there is one person as a and another person as b and a want to send some message to b person so what happens that attacker will break that message and modify the message for example i'm just saying that uh, come at 2 pm okay but what happens that attacker will break okay come at 2 pm this message will travel from a user to b user but what attacker will do attacker will stop that message break that message and what he will do he will just modify the message means in stop 2 pm he will just write 6 pm means that message get modified in the network so this is nothing but man in the middle attack and it is also available with spoofing next part is impersonation now here in case of impersonation it is act of pretending to be another person for the purpose of fraud no doubt it can be done again via any communication mechanism like email or phone call but here again that person is trying to say that i am authorized person and please click on the link or please show some credit card details please show some otps one time passwords or please show some passwords to us so that we can do the further processing and if user will trust on the hacker if user will share that information again data loss occurs and that is impersonation then last part of today's session is dumpster diving uh, you can see here in this figure that person is trying to search some data from the garbages or from the trash it may be either computer trash or it may be either uh, documented trash, trash also means whenever uh, we do some login whenever we register for some website at that moment what happens we just simply note down id password or some uh, personal details and after uh, finishing that use we just throw it into the dustbin or we just throw it and if that attacker or that ha hacker will collect it and use it for the purpose of capturing your sensitive information or for the cap purpose of capturing your data, then it enters into dumpster diving. So this is dumpster diving. It is most dangerous. So be careful when you handle your documents. Means whenever you do some rough work, so put that garbage uh, at proper place so that uh, it will not it will not enter into the data loss. In general, dumpster diving involves searching through the trash or garbage looking for something useful.
this is often done to uncover useful information that may help an individual get access to a particular network one example is given there okay now move towards the last uh, point of today's session that is summary in today's session we discuss information security overview by discussing various types of attacks in next session we will uh, discuss goals for security and e-commerce security thank you